So the investigation into the Malaysian airplane will probably now center on uh, gathering some more data because we need more data to make a, a, an informed decision on what's happened with the airplane and where to go to next in the investigation. And my assumption is that investigators will now start looking at the ACARS data. Uh, ACARS data is part of a quality assurance program that most airlines and aircraft manufacturers and engine manufacturers use uh, to get data, digital data link information that's sent from the airplane to either the airline or the manufacturers to monitor the airplane and it's done through this ACARS system and ACARS is an acronym that stands for Aircraft Communication Addressing and Reporting System and this system can send digital data link information to the company on uh, engine performance, aircraft major systems performance and we can gather some information to help us find uh, some more clues into uh, the Malaysian incident. I'm hoping that we find more information from the ACAR system. Uh, there's some early information that Rolls-Royce, who is the aircraft engine manufacturer for the Malaysian airplane, uh, that they have some data that was recovered through the ACAR system that shows that the engines may have been run for over four hours, which will help now the investigators in search and rescue uh, understand a little better where the airplane might be located. Uh, so uh, I'm looking forward to uh, getting more of this digital data link communication from the ACAR system and, uh, and finding out more. Uh, it was a great help in the Air France investigation it took them more than a year to recover the black boxes where they could get information, but they were able to build a lot of information on what happened to that airplane in flight from this ACARS quality assurance digital data link that they were able to recover and piece together uh, a lot of what happened in that incident.